Hi, this tutorial gives a quick demonstration of how to use the hour binning or bin component for dhour. This component groups hours into set interval lists based on the values of a given key. For example, it could take a complex list of data hour temperatures and group them to determine the quantity of hours that fall within evenly divided ranges of temperature over a given year. In this example, we'll look at this component in the context of wanting to bin hours for a pie chart. So let's start with a little groundwork. Here we see a set of colorized data hours, a key that we will reference, as well as our pie graph which we want to plug the binning component into. So if we look under the filter tab, we'll see our binning, and it asks for a few of these inputs. Our data hours plug in, our key that we've chosen from our data hours is plugged in. The interval we can leave as default. By default, it is the full range of key values. However, it can be limited to a smaller set. In that case, values outside of the given interval would be appended to the bin of the highest or lowest value. For now, I'll leave it as is. And the subdivision input determines the number of subintervals by which to divide the full interval. So in this case, let's choose 22. And now we can use a simple panel to more clearly understand our outputs. Plugging in frequencies, we see a data tree that has each subinterval listed as well as the number of hours within that subinterval. Intervals gives us a tree which registers the range of values for each subinterval. And data hours describes which hours are within each subinterval. So now let's plug this bin in to show how it can be used. We can plug the d hours into the get color component, which will translate the colors into the pie graph. We can also use the frequencies for the values. However, we need to flatten this list by right clicking and then clicking flatten in order to turn this data tree into a list, which is what the pie graph requires for its input. Pie graph shows up and it works. So that wraps up binning. It's been great.